Good day. It's Wednesday, July the 5th. I'm Martin Gago with Market Radius Research, and we've got CEO Andrew White of Char Technologies joining us today. Char is a clean tech development company specializing in high temperature pyrolysis, converting organic waste into renewable fuels. Andrew is here to tell us about the just announced news of a $6.6 million strategic investment into Char by ArcelorMittal, one of the world's largest steel companies, as well as an offtake MOU to purchase Char's biocarb. But remember, this is neither recommendation or investment advice. We're here to learn about the company. Andrew, great to have you back and congrats on the big news. Can you give us an overview on just what happened and what it means for Char? Yeah, absolutely, Martin, and thanks for having me back. And you know, hopefully, there's not too much background noise. You can't always choose when the deal happens, and this is my uh, vacation week up in Killarney here, so uh, that's why I'm inside. But the deal—I mean, it, it's it's obviously fantastic news for Char, and there's a couple of key elements. I mean, it is it is an investment, so it's 6.6 million Canadian invested in the company, which allows us to continue to advance our Thoreau project. Uh, as well as push some of our other projects forward a little quicker. So that's sort of the first first bucket of why this is a great announcement. The second bucket is it comes with a MOU for offtake from DeFasco, which is ArcelorMittal's uh, steel facility in Hamilton, Ontario, whom we've been working with for quite a number of years now to make sure the bio coal we produce works for them. And so this is set up as, as a take or pay type of a contract. So uh, they're guaranteed that to, to take a certain production because they've gone through the testing, they've gone through the validation, they know that it works, and they know it's it's going to meet their needs, which is sort of the, the second bucket of, of why this is, you know, kind of phenomenal news for Char. And then the third is, you know, to kind of bring it together, what will likely be our largest client for BioCool is now one of our largest shareholders, uh, which I think is a really great alignment of interest uh, to make sure that you know they they've looked at what we're producing uh, they've invested in what we're doing because they know it works and they have some confidence around what we're what we're bringing to the table well as an investor i, I view it great it shores up your balance sheet and you have a lot of projects on the go so your capital requirements over the next couple of years are going to be pretty big and with a large investor putting in 6.6 .6 million dollars that that gives you uh, lots of additional runway beyond just the validation that they've they've used your product. It works. They want to put money in and uh, buy it. So, um, uh, what does this do to sort of the runway or, or the the pathway forward for Char? Yeah, and there's there's again the two pieces. So one, the the offtake really strengthens the overall financial security of the Thoreau project. So as I, as I mentioned previously on, on your uh, webinars, Martin, you know, we're looking to finance these projects at the project level through project finance. And you basically need guaranteed feedstock, proven technology, guaranteed offtake. And so this deal gives more comfort around the technology piece and certainly solves for the offtake piece. So that allows this project and, and then ideally others to be project financing. So what it really lets us do is, is with the, the investment dollars is look at advancing the engineering design, the permitting work, all of that you know, development work that has to happen before you start you know, putting shovels in the ground or concrete in the ground, before you start issuing purchase orders for equipment, you have to do a, a fair bit of upfront work. And so this funding really allows us to push some of the other projects we've talked about, you know, namely the the, the top four being Thorold, which is, you know, ongoing, and then Lake Nipigon, uh, Kirkland Lake, and St. Felicia. And, and with yours as a new technology, funders are going to be a little suspect on the first project. And once that's working, then each additional one, as long as it's working well, is going to be easier, presumably, to fund thereafter the risk factors will be down. So with a huge validating partner getting this going, once this is up and running, that should make the, the path forward going a lot easier, I guess. Absolutely. It's technology validation. It's, it's offtake and it's really, you know, all about de-risking the project overall. So some of these more traditional uh, project level uh, funding uh, 
opportunities can can come to the table. Yeah, yeah. You you do have you you mentioned it on the project on the project level. So that that requires us when you're talking project funding, you're essentially you put in some equity into it, and then there'll be debt financing from banks or other lender types. That that that's what you refer to as de- uh, project financing. Yeah, it's a, it's a combination, right? So I think for our upcoming projects, you know, based on the the industry that we focus on, you know, that we're addressing, you know, uh, an industry that contributes 8% of global GHG emissions, you know, there is still, I think, a, a very strong level of support from various levels of government to, to support projects. So it's the combination of that, you know, traditional project debt, uh, you know, some equity, but, you know, we've also got that third lever as, you know, we're doing good things, you know, for the world. And, and because of that, we're able to get some government uh, level investment as well, whether that's, you know, debt, uh, forgivable debt or grant funding. The Globe and Mail put out an interesting piece. Uh, and there's a quote there from ArcelorMittal, one of their uh, lead people on their investment side. And they said that they do follow up investments I- I- as well. So uh, that could be good news for you, possibly. Yeah, I mean, historically, uh, the X Curve Innovation Fund, which is what led this investment round on our silver um, tell side, uh, do follow on investment for their investors. You know, obviously, it, it's always a case by case basis, um, as Irina mentioned in the Globe and Mail article. Uh, but historically, they've uh, stuck with their investments. Uh, they're not necessarily in it as a straight investor. Well, I, I mean, I know they're not in it as a straight investor. They're in it as a strategic. You know, they're looking for that long-term benefit to, you know, their operations. And we can, you know, bring that with high temperature paralysis and, and our biofuel and our syngas and, and our conversion technology. All right. That's great. Is there anything else to add before we wrap this up? No, I mean, it, it's obviously, you know, like with, with, uh, some of the government funding programs, um, you know, if people were able to see behind the curtain and, and the amount of work, uh, due diligence time on both the business case, on the technology, uh, you know, we're talking, you know, months of, of work for, for the Arcelor investment and, you know, months of work from the various government funding programs, you know, FSIP and IFIT uh, do a substantial amount of technology review as well. And so as we keep achieving these milestones and, and hitting these different investments, be it from government or from, you know, strategic partners like ArcelorMittal, uh, the validation continues to build on, you know, this technology is absolutely viable and it's solving for a real problem uh, that industry has. And how do we decarbonize? Uh, so we're really excited about, uh, you know, what the future holds as we keep moving uh, this project's full. Andrew, thanks a lot for giving us a quick update on that big news. Thank you very much. Thanks for the opportunity, Mark.